Let's go. This is clutch. Look at the high towers. Shaking in their boots. You heard her, please. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with episode 8 of House of the Dragon. We are getting real close to the end of this season. Things are really starting to heat up and it's getting close to a, a big cliffhanger finale of season. I can just feel it. Every episode from about episode 5 has just been like boom, boom, boom. Last one was a big one and we're excited to get into it. Yeah, I said last episode has been my favourite episode throughout the entire season so far. It was probably the heaviest hitter and... I think they even reflected in our views. I mean, that could be because we're doing Game of Thrones as well, but it seemed to be across the board with the other reactors that we checked out, one that everyone was interested to see. So I think it was a big episode, full stop. The big one for me that changed the game was the marriage between Damon and Rhaenyra, one that we weirdly have come to accept as a, <laughs> as a norm in the world of Game of Thrones. So I guess I'm rooting for them in a weird way. I'm still getting my head around it myself, but... They just really suit each other. The dynamic, and they were both rebellious, and they both sort of didn't necessarily want to follow all the rules of the crown. And they've, they're prepared to get their hands dirty if they have to, and, and I kind of respect that. I like them. They're a bit of the, the black sheep of the family, you know? Yeah. So that was pretty cool, I thought. And so their dynamic coming into this episode, I'm just like... Uh, on a side note, I'm expecting Viserys to just be ahead at this point. Just be ahead in, in, in a jar or something. <laughs> <laughs> because... He's just getting worse and worse each episode. But, like, especially after he finds out about that marriage, he's just going to be like, like, how is he going to take it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because he obviously didn't want that beforehand. Yeah, because I was saying today, you can say what you want about the series, but bottom line, he does his best to try and do right by those close to him. He is actually a king that tries to make everybody happy whilst fulfilling the role of the crown. Look, he is heavily biased. He is. Toward Rhaenyra, he is. He knows that those boys are not Selenor's sons. Correct. But what I'm saying is, a king could be just black and white, these are the rules, that's it. But he's just like, why can't we just be a good family? I'm not saying he's perfect, but he's just like, let's just be a good family, like, let them be heirs, you know. Obviously, everyone else's agendas come into play too, but he's... Yeah. Uh, most kings would be just like... They're not the children, get rid of it. But would you say that's a good king then? Because the king is the protector of the realm, not just his family. Well, depends if you look at it in show or out of show, but I don't, it doesn't really matter if the kids are so Lainor's kids. If Lainor's happy with them and Rhaenyra's happy with them and they're going to be heirs and the kingdom can take them as heirs, so be it, you know? Uh, especially if they've got Rhaenyra's blood to be able to command dragons, then. I mean, so what? But maybe in the Game of Thrones world, it's a bigger deal. Uh, like, purity or whatever so I don't know yeah because I do have the same view as you like I like the series the way he deals with things but I'm looking at from an outsider perspective yeah it is quite biased his behavior 100% 100% I was worried at the start that when there was the time skip that the new Rhaenyra wouldn't have the same chemistry with Damon as the younger Rhaenyra did yeah I've just been blown away like the chemistry is still there and that's what I was worried about so that's all yep. all good now Aemon now has taken command over Vega, which is a, a big twist. Like, the oldest and largest dragon that's around, that's still alive. And Aemon's just taken it for himself. So that's a big point to Team Green, I think. Is Alison's team Team Green? Yeah. Yeah. And team Black's Rhaenyra. Would you say we're Team Green or Black? We're probably Team Black. We're Black. We're definitely Black. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're definitely Black. But Team Green's got the biggest dragon. But then, you know, Rhaenyra and Damon's dragons come together. I mean, I reckon they could pull some, some epic shit. Well... I just want to address last episode in the comments, you guys were going ham at us saying Eamon was the one that was attacked. They like attacked him first. Yeah, maybe, but you can't look at that situ situation in isolation. Like you really need to look at the whole situation as a whole. Yes, he had every right to go and bond with Vega, but really he knew deep down that that was going to cause some issues. Every right. Well, yeah, so anyone can... Um, yeah. It's not necessarily passed down just because. Yeah, it's but if you respect that the mother died by her dragon and she left three daughters, a courtesy thing would be to allow the daughters to have a chance with the mother's dragon. It's not like normal yeah. tamer, you know? And that's and that's what I'll, that's my point. Like, courtesy is to let that happen. And, and it could have been very well that she wouldn't have been able to 
tame Vega or bond with Vega. So no stress, but to just go behind everyone's backs and bond with Vega and then come to them like with this massive ego and calling everyone bastards and whatever, of course you're going to get abused. Yeah, I think with that battle, it was, yeah, he definitely provoked it. He poked the bear and he came yeah. there, he came there looking for a fight. But everyone in the comments was going, oh my god, Amond is the victim, blah, blah, blah. No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> the other thing last episode was Damon laughed at Lena's funeral. And it was specifically when they were talking about the blood being thick and not thinning it. Yeah, we realise that now, yeah. Yeah, I kind of realised soon after that, yeah, essentially <laughs> he was, I didn't realise he was taking the heat off Rhaenyra's children. I thought he was just laughing at how ridiculous these double stand. Everyone here knows that they're not Lainor's children, but we're acting as if it is anyways, and everyone sits in denial. So Laris has really doubled down and committed himself to Alison. And it sounds like Alison might actually take him up on his offer this she time. She has. She said, like, I'll need you when it's ready. So she's pretty much guaranteed it. I guess that's a little bit of a snaky team. Otto, Alison, and Laris. Yeah. Although people, it's a fine line, right? Because I am team black. But I was definitely very one-sided Rhaenyra. And reading the comments did open up to yeah. be like, okay, yeah, true. When you look at both sides, these are justification for both sides. I like and resonate more with the attitudes of team black. Yeah. But... Both sides definitely have their their stakes, then I guess. Yeah. But you're going to bias Rhaenyra because she was the child of a series. Alison sort of married into it, and then her kids are sort of third generation. So that's sort of how a little bit how I see it. But I mean, if anything we learn about Game of Thrones is that the point of it is to divide people for different houses, and uh, it makes sense. And I just realised I'm going to mention this in our in this Game of Thrones recording as well. It's going to sound so rookie, but I actually just realised in our recent Game of Thrones recording why it's called Game of Thrones. Like, it's obvious now, but I was like, I just realised that it was like, oh my God, like, it's literally a game of the thrones. Everyone's battling for the throne. That's the whole point of it, you know? And then I was just, I don't know, it's pretty dumb, <laughs> but I'm going to call myself out on it because it, it hopefully gives you guys a bit of a laugh. And if you guys missed our community post, we have some exciting news. One of our community members actually let us know that, now, excuse me if I butcher the name, N Nana Blondell, the actress who plays... Uh, Lena, Damon's wife, reposted one of our reactions and we sent her a little message and she responded back. So that was quite exciting for us. Yeah, it's pretty surprising. We didn't expect it and she seemed to really enjoy our reaction too, which was a bit of a surprise for us, but pretty cool. Flattering. One, one, yeah, well, one to add to the uh, memory book. So that was cool. A big thank you to everyone who's supporting us over on Patreon. It really does help the channel out a lot. For anyone who might be interested in checking out our Patreon, we do have ad free episodes, early access to upcoming reactions on the channel and full-length uncut reactions which only feature on patreon so if you guys want to check that out over there you can for those of you over on youtube if you enjoy our reaction remember to leave a like on the video let us know in the comments down below what you thought and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our upcoming reactions all right let's go let's get into it in the fighting his neck was slashed by a courser's dagger he fell overboard into the sea the wound was severe much blood was lost, but the greater concern is the fever that followed. Lainor's father was that his grief from losing his thinking his lost son. So call us? Yeah. And who will take the driftwood throne? My grandmother seems quite comfortable here. She presides only in the absence of her husband. So who are you suggesting? I am the sea snake's own blood. The closest kin he has left. I mean, it's fair. One can take your words for treason. Oh God. <laughs> no one trusts anyone in this show. He seems pretty sincere. My brother cares only for the history books. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, she even agreed with that. Driftmark mm. is mine by all rights. And while I should like your support, I do not need it. Oh, shit. Damn, putting her in her place. My cousin the king would have your tongue for this. But it's not a king who sits the Iron Throne these days, good sister. Damn. Damn. So Viserys is still alive. <laughs> yeah, but he's, the guy's wasting away quickly. Tense. Beautiful scenery, dude. Beautiful scenery. I love it. Oh, like, what a picture. A scene. Oh. 
Oh, can you see in the crack? Someone crawling, yeah. Yeah. What is it? I feel like it's a dragon egg, but... Oh, it is a dragon egg. Who is that, though? Of course it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Did they have a child together? Yeah, true. It's cool that we got to see how the eggs are found. I think she's pregnant. Maybe. I don't know, her tummy looks bigger. I hope the end. The mouth. Mouth. Oh, That's Jace. Just Aries. Her eldest. Is it? How many years have passed? Joffrey. Come. Oh, Joffrey's cute. <laughs> Looks like they still have love for each other, which is nice. Raymond cares only about Driftmark and the Valarian Nine. Not about our politics. Well, you hope not. She believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. True. Has the Viper's venom spread so far? Those Vipers rule in my father's name. And my father... To King's Landing, then. Back to the main capital. So that girl that before that with Rhaenys, I think that was Bela. So one of Damon's and Lena's daughters. She's older now. Right. Yeah, so it looks like it must be a few years at least this past. I didn't recognise the oldest. Yeah. And I don't remember their names, to be honest. We've changed the actors so many times in this series. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with. It's been a while since yeah. they've been back here. That we know of. Probably the first time as a married couple. I reckon the series is about health. Mm. I would say it's nice to be home, but I scarcely recognise it. So maybe Alice has changed a lot of things. She would. On the harbour master's receipts. So she's really running the show. Uh, the uh, Septons have requested <laughs> half. Oh no. <laughs> the sea snake has never formally named him as heir. The crown must choose what is best for the realm. Alison going to be making that decision. Interesting. So she's literally running the show now, but Sarah's probably bed bound. It's about the prince. <laughs> There's been a delicate situation in his apartments. Oh no. And where's Sir Kristen? Wow, look how big it's gotten. Yeah, it's his life's work. It's gonna be sad to see him in such poor shape. Really grown on the series. Oh wow. Far out. Oh, look at his fingers. Everything's mangled. I mean, he's lasted a good time. The famous Link Peak condition. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at his head. Dude, everything. He's probably lost an eye too, it looks like. There is a, there is a petition to decide upon the succession of Driftmark and the heir to the Driftwood throne. I've never seen him be so hesitant in a sentence before. Father, there's someone we wish to introduce you to. <sighs> Damn, he is mangled completely. He's gone, dude. Holy crap. It's weird seeing this. Yeah. He's so tired, he's given the throne literally fully over. Well, he can't run it in that shape. Who is that? Oh, they've had a child together. This is Egon. Oh. And this is for Sarah's. Oh. <gasps> Do they have twins or something? <laughs> That, that is a lame. Fit for a kick. <laughs> <laughs> His face uh, must be scary <laughs> for the baby. Yeah, it's pretty rough with those black teeth as well. <laughs> Even I'm having a hard time here. Her mighty. This? Yes. Yes. Damon's being a pretty good brother too. Very respectful of his brother's situation. <sighs> what is it? Interesting. Right. Tell your name. I'm scared for this interaction. Yeah. I understand you found yourself in some trouble. What kind of trouble? When I turned, I didn't see him. I asked him to stop. You're crazy. Oh, I tried to rape her. Truly, you must believe me. No way she gets punished for this. Is in Egon? Yeah. Oh, so there's two Egons now. Thank you for telling me, Diana. Oh. Please don't kill her, dude. I believe you. Oh no, it's gonna be bad news. But what I worry about. Oh no. Is what others might believe. 
And though I believe you were not to blame, others might not be so trusting. Oh, man. I thought you're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. Now you know what happens to girls like that. She's so stern. I don't want anything another one to anyone. You're right. Damn, she gets raped and now she's one begging for her life. That's so shit. I know you won't. I don't like the way she said that. Elsa makes me a bit uneasy these days. Yeah, I'm waiting for something to happen right now. For your troubles. Oh. The tea. Rose. Oh, to make sure she doesn't get pregnant, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's not a bad case scenario if she gets golden. But I don't think that's really foolproof. Poor girl, man. I think Alison sympathizes because she's been in that position somewhat with the series. Mm. Like being somebody else's just object kind of thing, you know? I guess your will. Egg on! She's gonna lose it! <laughs> it's a new actor as well. The girl, Egg on the one you said fleeing from your company. Oh, it's just harmless fun. Look at the shame on your wife. <laughs> on me. Oh, he's got a wife. Carrying on like this, especially oh, on a day like today. Why? What is it today? Is his wife the sister still? His sister? You mean still? They never got married. What's today? You are no son of mine. Oh, damn. Damn. I did not ask for this. I've done everything you've asked me to. I try so hard, but it will never be enough for you or father. Damn. So, the sister, Helena, I'm pretty sure her name is, was betrothed to Egon. Well, Alison, other sister. Yeah, Alison said that last episode or something, or a few episodes ago. I don't remember that at all. And don't you remember last episode, Egon and Eamon were having a conversation about Egon having to marry her, and Eamon's like, I'll do it if that's what mother wants for tradition. You don't remember? <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> yeah, so essentially, well, I don't know if they actually did get married in, in this time yeah, skip, yeah, but... Yeah, based off that. Yeah, I think they must have. So, I, upon a further look, he's not fat. It's just the angle, look at two chins. I thought the point they were going for was to make him, like, out of shape. Like, he's just... And they're still sort of going for that. Like, he's not really looking like a warrior. Like, he's sort of a spoiled prince in a sense. Yeah. But it also looked interesting there, which is, even from a presence, his character seems to be quite crippled and quite overwhelmed rather than like Rhaenyra was a lot more of a stronger response to the pressure of the throne well I mean look at Alicent and then look at Viserys you have Alicent as a mother she's down Aegon's throat all the time very combative whereas Viserys is kind of yeah. like airy fairy and Viserys has really probably been around to really instill in his son that strength of character you know yeah and I feel like Rhaenyra got a lot of her strength from her mother we did see that even during the pregnancy, she had a lot of strength, you know? Yeah. Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Damon. Mm. All good encounter? How long since we were granted the joy of your presence? Oh, her scar. Damon's just like... They're not long enough to merit a greeting upon our arrival. I'm sure the Queen had pressing business, my love. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> I do not rule, as you well know. My father and I are mere stewards of the King's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? <laughs> <laughs> I love David, dude. Of course. It is they who keep him addled on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Mm. For the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen heraldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? True. Which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? That would be mine. And the hands. <laughs> How convenient. Damn. True colours are released. Did she really get in the way of the claim, though? Well, yeah, because it's her decision right now. So, I mean, she's meant to be consulting Viserys, but he's in no shape. Um, I thought, but as soon as he passes, Rhaenyra gets the crown. That was how, that's the point of an heir. Yeah, but she is the queen consort. Or Queen Regent. I can't remember the difference between them. But so she is ruling yeah. while he's. Well, I'm saying when he dies, technically when you should just have the, the throne, unless someone challenges that, I guess. No, I think that's right. But I guess they're talking about Jaceri's rule for Driftmark. Yep. And you thought you could swing Kristen's morning star. And you almost took your own head off. Yeah, where is Sir Kristen? We haven't seen him for ages. No one would question me being heir to Driftmark if I look more like Sir Lane or Valarian. Hmm. It doesn't matter what they think. So the boys are matured now. They're a lot more aware of things. Yeah. 
I mean, they were really starting to, but they were younger as well. Is that gonna be Chris then? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Who's he fighting? <laughs> oh, the I lost Aemon. Holy oh, shit. wow. So he's the warrior compared to the other guy. Compared to Aegon, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. It's gotten good. Nephews, have you come to train? Nephews? Oh, yeah, because he's... Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. He's got cousins. Damn, he's changed heaps. I know. Is that going to be Corley's or his brother? Famous, brother. yeah. Yeah, another throne battle. Who knew battling for the throne could be so interesting? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a big discussion coming up. War looms and may arrive on our shores. When it does, will you want a child at the command of the greatest fleet in Westeros? So we know what Otto wants. This is the infamous tree with the god's face. And apparently the blood crying is like a bad omen. Might I speak to the princess alone, Raina? Everyone's growing up, it's so weird. I know. And I can't keep up with who's who in terms of all the kids. I wondered for many an hour what your purpose was in coming here. Whether you'd speak for or against the suit brought by Sir Raymond. But then I realised you intend to advocate for yourself. <laughs> it is a trap. Set by the Queen in the hand, I'd wager, to proclaim my son illegitimate. Yet you did worse than that with Lainor. Hmm. Is she ever going to tell the truth? Hopefully. Back Luke's claim and let us betroth Lainor's children to mine. It's a big offer. A generous offer. Very generous. But? Or a desperate one. What does it matter? True. If you want the bloodline to continue. You can bargain with me all you like. Yeah, I felt like it was towards that end. But tomorrow the High Towers land their first blow. They force you to your knees, and I must stand alone. Damn. If only she fully believed that they didn't kill Selena. I know. She would probably be on their side. She should just tell them, but I know she can't. Thankfully, she's got Damon. That's a bit of reassurance that she has Damon, because at the moment, everything's against her. And for series, it's like this. It's not going to do anything. No, it's Rhaenyra, father. Oh, it's so sad. The song of ice and fire, do you believe it to be true? That's a prophecy. Yeah, that's prophecy. You told me it was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. Hmm, good point. I thought I wanted it. She can feel the burdens. It's a lot of pressure. But the burden is a heavy one. Yeah. Poor Rhaenyra, she's tried so hard. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me and my children. I don't think he'll make it, to be fair. No. She really wants her father about now, but he's useless. Damn, dude. Damn. We're gathered at the Red Keep. Say his last goodbyes. To dine together. I reckon this is the episode where he goes. Damn, dude. Not even worth living at that point. Oh. His whole life's miserable. Yeah, that pain, it just looks unbearable. He's withered away. I wonder if he'll back Rhaenyra at the supper. As hand, I speak with the king's voice on this and all other matters. Oh, no. For as long as House Targaryen has ruled the skies, House Valarian has ruled the seas. True enough. Only speak for yourself and for your own ambition. You'll have a chance to make your own petition, Princess Rhaenyra. Oh no. Dude. Aegon's laughing. This is about the future and survival of my house, not yours. Interesting. Uh, indirectly saying her sons. Thank you, Sir Vayman. Alright, who's next? Uh, he's very pleased with himself. If I am to grace this fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago in this very Tell me it's for series. Yeah, <laughs> King of the Andals and the Roina and the first men. 
Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Oh, uh, Otto. Let's go. This is clutch. <laughs> Look at the high towers. Man, shaking clutch. in their boots. You heard her, please. You didn't foresee this. Oh, well, look at that mask. To cover his injuries, obviously. I like the music too. It's like hyped him up. Like, let's go. The king's back. Even though he's like crawling in. <laughs> it's probably going to be his last significant act as king. Yeah. Let's make it count. Who knows? He might even die before he can say a word. Oh, no. Oh, I'm hoping that that's not the case. <gasps> he's proved us wrong so far. He's outlived. All our expectations. I will sit the throne today. Go for series! It's like the throne that started all of this from all those cuts. I said I'm fine. And the throne fell off. I thought it'd be brother. Come on. That's nice. I feel like these are going to be his last moments. A few little symbolism yeah. popping up. His brother helps to the throne once more. Where once they fought for it. The only one present who might offer keener insight into Lord Corliss's wishes is the Princess Rhaenys. Oh. oh. Damn, dude. Well said. Yeah, but she says she's going to stand alone. She might respect the fact that he's giving her a chance too, though. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerus Valarian. His mind never changed, nor did my support of him. Oh. As Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jace and Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters, Vela and Rhaena. A proposal to which I heartily agree. Interesting. Yeah. So she's sided with her. I hereby reaffirm. Prince Lucerus of House Valarian is heir to Driftmark. Oh, Alice is spewing. You break law. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Don't you dare tell me who deserves to inherit the name Valarian. Oh, it's going to be a war. I will not allow it. Damon. <laughs> allow it. Do not forget yourself, Damon. It's full shaking. That is no true. Valarian. Dude, that's treason. Oof. Ceres is my true-born grandson. And you no more than the second son of Driftmark. Oh, oh for Ceres. My house survived the doom and a thousand tribulations besides. I will not see it ended on the account of this. I do get it. I get it. Damn it. <laughs> Say it. Her children. Bastards! Oh. oh. And she is a whore. Damn, dude. Well, have your tongue for that. Oh! Holy shit, dude. David just oh! wrecked him. Keep his tongue. Oh, oh my goodness. I will not close my mind. I must put things right. He did it, he did it for her, yeah. Go for series, you've been a trooper. Damn, dude. That scene, head just clean off. And the tongue was just there. <laughs> they was such a beast of time, dude. I know. Oh, well, there goes his uh, challenge to the throne. Oh, they put his head together for the funeral. Oh. Oh! oh shit. <laughs> Clean cut. You may wish to leave the silent sisters to their work. Yeah, why is she there? Probably on behalf of her husband too. I don't know. The stranger has visited me more times than I can count, Grand Maester. I assure you, he cares little whether my eyes are open or closed. Hmm. Lena, Selenor, Baymond. Damn. Damn, dude. What a scene. He did it to himself in a way, though. Like, speaking those words, you knew you are going to get the king. Even though, I give him credit, he was just saying the truth. 
He was, yeah. And I get wanting to keep your house pure bloodline, so... Yeah, I do I'm get not, his point of view. Yeah, I get his frustration. I'm not actually against him on that one. Yeah, but definitely not the right way to go about it. When everyone's against you. It was never going to end well. Damn, the tension between these two. To think that they were best friends. Yeah, I never would have predicted it at the beginning. Lying on each other to now meters apart. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. That's pretty funny. It's probably the last time we'll see all the family united at one dinner. This will be interesting. I feel like Eamon was intrigued by Damon when he cut his head off. He looked at him like, hmm. And to Vaymon Valarian, may the gods give him rest. <laughs> Damon! Oh my god. What an awkward reunion. How the act is done, I assume. At least in principle. Such a troll. It's already tensions between the next generation. But how weird. Rhaenyra's children will marry Damon's children. <laughs> the faces most dear to me in all the world. You've grown so distant from each other. In the years past. Yeah, it's been a hell of a journey. Yeah, damn. I can't believe it's only one season, dude. I don't know if I want to see this. <gasps> oh. oh! Why? At Why? dinner, too. He's no longer a handsome one. Oh, you could say that again. If indeed it ever was. Wow. Oh, even the... I wish you to see me as I am. Not just a king, but your father, your brother, your husband, and your grandsire. I mean, fair enough, but... Yeah, they're gonna eat. Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. Yeah, it's wishful thinking, dude. Set aside your grievances. And for the sake of this old man who loves mm. you all so dearly. The series. I can all listen to that. He's pouring his heart out. Or if he eats, the food's gonna come out the side. Please don't eat in this scene. I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. <gasps> She's always taking the first step, isn't she? She's tried again and again. Unfailing devotion, love, and honor. True. She has been a good wife to him. Interesting. I mean, it's a quick fix, but in the name of a series. We are both mothers and we love our children. We have more in common than we sometimes allow. True. I raise my cup to you and to your house. Well, this is nice. A moment of peace, but it's not going to last. It'd be too simple if this was it, but it is a nice moment. Yeah. At least for the series' last moment, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't changed. Otto's looking at him too. <laughs> But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, he's gonna be the one to start me. What's Amy gonna say now? <laughs> Even now it's down? like, what the hell? To Prince Aegon and Prince Aemond, we have not seen each other in years, but I have fond memories of our shared youth. <laughs> Aegon. <laughs> we may yet be friends and allies. Well, let's hope, but... Okay. He played it off okay. But I wonder why Eamon stand up, like... To you as well. He's become a joke. <laughs> He's become a complete joke. You are the beast beneath the lords. What is that moment? Remember her prophecies we know now. The beast beneath the lords. Oh, Except sometimes when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Who laughed? Sounded kind of like Damon. Is she the sister? Okay. Helena or something. So beware the beast beneath the boards. I wonder why Eamon stood up. Is that a mark of authority a little bit? I would think so. It's almost too good to be true, isn't it? This little time of peace. I wish I could enjoy it, but I'm anticipating when it's all going to go wrong. Look at Otto. <laughs> this is what it should be like if Hal wasn't so in demand, you know. That's nice for the series. Yeah. It's not going to end on a happy note. Hopefully it will for his last day and then afterwards. <sighs> Oh, poor the series. Damn. He couldn't even properly enjoy it. That sucks. I mean, he got something, but, like, it really sucks. It's sad to see him, like, it's really great on him. I know. It doesn't even get to enjoy the army food. <laughs> Probably would have fallen out anyways. 
I even so stiff and... Yeah, very serious. Is that a pig? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Final tribute to the health of my nephews. Each of them handsome, wise. Here we go. It's gonna be... To these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? At least for series isn't there. Could you say such a thing before these people? I was merely expressing how proud I am of my family, mother. Yeah, yeah. Views aren't quite as proud of theirs. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Go to your quarters. All of you go now. Famous the one guy who can settle this. <laughs> David's like almost proud. <laughs> It's best, I think, if we go back to Dragonstone. You've only just arrived. Return on Dragonback. Maybe their relationship might finally be mended. Yeah, but something will happen. Otherwise, it'd be too smooth. Well, even at least we got that little interaction, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She's still around. Yeah, I kind of forgot about her. She hasn't really been in the fold since the first couple of episodes. But it's not Damon. Why the night does a castle, Sims? Yes, lady. Is she reporting back to her? Oh no. That was like one of the maids or whatever they're called. She's gonna have something against her right now. For sure. What do you want it to do? If I believe it to be true. Oh no. Damn no. now. His dream. The Song of Ice. He thinks he's talking to Rhaenyra. I know, but it's going to say something to piss her off. The Prince. Prince Edmund. To unite the realm against the cold. From the dark, it is you. You are the one. You must do this. Oh, no. No, no way, dude. Can you just say... Rhaenyra or something? My daughter? Anything? Not like this, man. Far out. Who would have known that that would backfire? I understand, my king. No, you don't. You don't. Just when she was about to put it past her. Far out. And that's the cat's paw dagger. I know more. Damn, dude. A series. What he doesn't realise is that his last words divide his family more than he ever intended to by accident. Dude, that's so annoying. I get it, but the way they did that, it's so annoying now. Because I'm like, oh my god, it's all a misread. Oh, I knew something was going to kind of screw it up, but not like that. Poor for series, is his last words ended up screwing things up. I know, I know. So I think that's his last breath. I think it's meant to be. Yeah, uh, yeah. I reckon next episode we'll start on his funeral. And the friends were just about to make up and oh man. Oof. Uh, what an episode. Again, as the Dragon is interesting because even compared to Game of Thrones. I mean the whole thing was pretty much set at the location of the, the, uh, the castle over like two days, right? It's not set over long time periods or lots of multiple places. And yet the story just has you, every scene is really, I'm really invested in it. You know, the characters yeah. and the world and what's happening. And, and I think... It does it justice almost having a smaller character cast because you can really focus on a core group of people as well. So I like that. Yeah. Granted, all the uh, time skips get a bit confusing and then yeah. they get a bit confused for a little bit. Especially but... all the all the kids now that are involved. There's so many. I can't remember all the names to be honest. Probably need to brush up. But interesting. Eamon is a bit of a come out of nowhere kind of character, and I reckon he's gonna play a role. And him and Damon seem like they can butt heads almost a little bit. Oh yeah, he's almost like a Damon look-alike in it, the way he dresses, the long hair, the way he styles it. Yeah. But yeah, interesting. So, like I said before, it's kind of weird, but I guess not so much in the Game of Thrones universe. But Rhaenyra and Damon are now married. And then each of their children are marrying each other. But it's no different to the siblings marrying, so it's same, same. Yeah, but I don't That's know. That's just normal. That's normal. Now. you got to yeah. accept this. We're, we're, we're used to this. <laughs> I mean, Viserys has lived a very long time. He surpassed all our expectations of how far he was going to live. But seeing him in this episode really... We thought 
before the time skip, he was on his last legs. He was very much on his last legs this episode. And it was so, it was almost painful to see him that way. He, his body looks painful. His mind looks painful. Just like everything. It is sad to see how much he's degraded. Especially next to his brother, who's in pristine condition. I know. And then he's like mangled. Like, yeah, they're only a few years apart. I think it's like 10, but still not enough to for that difference. But it was interesting when he was going to sit the throne for the last time. It's funny because that was the thing that caused all of this. Like all the cuts from the throne kind of symbolizing that he was unfit for the throne. Is or like, even that the burdens of the king were just too much. They were overwhelming him. What do you mean unfit for the crown? Not necessarily. It could even be symbolic that the burdens of being king, the pressures he was dealing with, was slowly, you know, taken away. It's like we've seen that his health declining and stuff as a result of of No, of course, but it's been told that when you get cut from the throne, it's you're you're deemed unfit for it. Okay, I don't remember that. Yeah. So that's the whole thing that started this endeavor of all his like this disease i'm not sure what it's called and he finally stepped on the throne one last time with this disease defeating him and the crown falls off so great symbolism in that yeah yeah for sure yeah the series lasted a lot longer than we thought and uh it's sad to see him go but at this point i mean it's tragic what's happened to his character Compared to the it'd be interesting watching back episode one now and seeing him in his prime back when he was still you know very much in in decent condition yeah it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes from here i mean the house is divided we've got two episodes left now so i think that's really just gonna be probably set up the feud for the next episode the next season yeah Yeah. next season people were saying that there's probably not gonna be much time skips but even today we saw a decent time skip so it looks like the time skips aren't done just yet i definitely think they'll slow down now yeah but enough for the kids to become of a decent age to where they can feud as well yeah i feel like this is a good age they might potentially do, like, one more when they're a tiny bit older. But it'll be interesting now to see Rhaenyra rule, finally. Well, if she gets to rule, who knows? Because now Alice is going to do everything in her power yeah. to fulfil what she thinks. You know, she doesn't realise she's talking about the original Aegon, Aegon but she thought it was about her son. And oh, just so they out of context, dude, it's so devastating to, to have it like that. Oh. Aegon doesn't want that at all. Like... He's just in his own little worlds, his own corner of the world. Just yeah, he's not fit at all. No, nah, no way. He can't even keep himself up when he's two feet, let alone a whole realm. Yeah. Otto was very quiet in this episode for being Otto Hightower. <laughs> so that was yeah. quite interesting. Well, he even stepped aside when when Alison was sort of deciding to make peace. I think he was he's just letting her take the reins now. She's a woman. No, he can't. She's the queen. He's just decided in all this, but obviously it works in his favour because of what happened, but yeah. I think he's he knows his real work is until Viserys dies. That's when he's going to have more of the reign somewhat. Even Kristen was kept very quiet this episode. We only saw a very small scene of him. Yeah. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you can up to date as soon as we do upload our next one. We are really looking forward to this couple of episodes, so it's going to be exciting to see how all this wraps up. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.